Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. What's the main thing that keeps people from traveling? What's the biggest excuse that most people use to keep them from taking adventure after adventure? Money. If we had a ton of it, most of us would spend the rest of our lives traveling. If we made more, we could do more. Well, we can't convince our bosses to give us huge travel bonuses, but we can control how much we save. In general, a lot of us are pretty bad about saving money or spending it on things we don't need. So we have to teach ourselves how to break those habits so we can refocus our priorities to spend money on things we actually love. And for us, that's traveling. We've spent years learning tricks to saving money so we can see the world, and we want to share them with you. In this video, we're sharing with you 13 methods we use for saving money that have allowed us to visit dozens of countries and have life-changing experiences around the world. All it takes is a little determination and you'll be lying on the beaches of Italy in no time. So let's get to our biggest money saving hacks. Number one on the list is commit, set a goal, and keep your eye on the prize. If you don't commit and make that dream adventure a priority, it's probably never gonna happen. Number two, download the app Digit. It analyzes your spending and periodically takes out small amounts to save for you so you don't notice. You can also set how aggressively it saves for you. I credit this app with sending me to Europe. I've saved thousands of dollars with it. We'll leave a code in the description so you can get $5 when you sign up. Number three is set up automatic monthly transfers from your checking account to a dedicated travel fund. Number four, another app that I use is called Ibotta. It pays you for buying certain things at the grocery store. Now, you have to use this app wisely. You cannot buy anything that you weren't already going to buy, or else that defeats the purpose of saving money. Number five is use the Truebill app. Truebill monitors your spending and shows you how much you've spent this month compared to previous months. It can also help you negotiate bills. It also lists all of your recurring payments. So this is a great way to find and eliminate monthly expenses and other things that you don't need. Number six is so easy. Save your coins. Keep a jar in your kitchen or by your bed and every time you get change, put it in there. After a while, it's really gonna add up. Number seven is keep track of everything you spend. You don't know what you can cut out until you see exactly where your money's going. Eliminating small expenses can really add up. Two great tools for tracking your spending are the numbers and trail wallet apps, but there's countless others you can use. Number eight, if you're smart with money, getting a credit card with a good sign up bonus can save you hundreds of dollars. You have to meet a spending goal, but as long as it's money that you'd be spending anyway, you're fine. I have the Southwest card and Chase Sapphire, which both have huge sign up bonuses and they've paid for hundreds of dollars worth of flights. I'll link them in the description if you wanna check them out. Number nine is identify needs versus wants. Take a look at all the things you're spending money on that you don't need and ask yourself how important they are to you. If the answer to any of them is anything less than very important, just cut it out. Also, when you cut out an expense, don't just let the money you were spending sit in your checking account. Instead, you should have it automatically sent to your travel savings account, because if you don't, you'll find another way to spend it. So, if you cut out a monthly subscription that costs $43.95, go into your mobile banking account and have an additional $43.95 transferred into your savings each month. Number 10, get rid of cable. We live in a streaming world, get with the times. I use my mom's cable account to watch anything I want to anyway. Thanks, mom. Number 11, is sell unwanted items with the let go and offer up apps. Before I moved to Southeast Asia, I sold nearly everything in my apartments using these two apps. You won't get paid a lot, but it's a great way to quickly get rid of anything from clothes to furniture. Number 12, strategically choose when and where you're gonna travel. It's gonna make a huge difference in how much you need to save. Southeast Asia is gonna be a lot cheaper than Western Europe. If you wanna to go to Greece, it'll be much cheaper if you go in September or October rather than June or July. Take into account peak seasons because things are gonna be a lot more crowded and more expensive around those times. Number 13 is make extra money online. Are you a native English speaker? If so, you have a valuable skill you can teach to Chinese kids. We'll leave a link in the description to the platform I use to fund my travels. So that's our advice on saving money for travel. We know each of these are proven methods because they've all worked for us. If you're serious about taking the trip of a lifetime, then use the information we've just given you and start saving. Because the sooner you start, the sooner your flight leaves.
See those people? They took our advice. Now who knows where they're going? Could be going anywhere. They save money. <laughs> Today's travel related question is, do you have another method or hack for saving money that would benefit the travel community? If so, share it in the comments. For more travel related content, go ahead and hit subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to send us feedback. We love hearing what you have to say. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all.